New York Knicks coach Mike D'Antoni is out, and we got Ken, Kevin Clark here to tell us all about it. Perhaps not in a most uh, objective stance, yeah. wearing Knicks colors. I, I did not know Mike was going to be fired today. <laughs> I was wearing this, then I had to run to the office. So, right. so um, it <laughs> says here in your story that he resigned. Um, right. is, is that the sort of resigned where he didn't have a choice? No, it's not actually. This basically was entirely Mike's decision. Uh, it wouldn't be his choice in two months at the end of the season, but I think the Knicks were going to let him play it out. Basically, what he realized was that Carmelo Anthony, his star player, was pouting. He wasn't buying into the system. And he realized it was about to be a very ugly two months. He wanted to avoid the entire situation, and he resigned this afternoon after a And what is the system, and why is Carmelo Anthony not with it? Mike D'Antoni runs a very uh, up-tempo system, which relies on quick passing and three-pointers and stuff like that. And Carmelo Anthony likes having the ball, and he likes doing his <laughs> own thing. He likes being very famous and scoring 30 points a game. And the offense didn't didn't give him 30 so points. So D'Antoni likes to play uh, the game as it's meant to be played right. as a team game. Right. Carmelo, perhaps not as an individual. Game. Right. Yeah. Carmelo is very focused. He's on not Carmelo. a team player. He's not, exactly. a, he's not a team yes. player. Right. And he's so this this man, Mike D'Antoni, took one for the team, as it were, quite literally. <laughs> Right. Um, so what does this have to do with Jeremy Lin? <laughs> well, that's the question everyone's asking. It's not a good day. I and mean, we reported today that, uh, that Volvo is going to uh, try to have his endorsement. Well, guess what? It's not a good day for Volvo because it's not a good day for Jeremy Lin. He's, his numbers are going to go way down under Mike Woodson's system. Yeah. It's much slower. Uh, he's not going to have those opportunities like he had under Dan Tony. He's not going to be able to pass as efficiently, and the ball is going to be in uh, Melo's hands much more. So Jeremy Lin's not going to be able to be the scorer he was. He's not going to be able to be the passer he was, and it's a dark day for Jeremy Lin. Okay, but so, maybe, sorry, go on. Go on, go on, go on. You, maybe you don't actually understand this game. <laughs> maybe Carmelo is correct. Uh, Six-game losing streaks suggest something is, is not working, and, and maybe the ball should be in his hands. What do you think? Right, well, I think that the problem with the during the losing streak is there was a lot of awkwardness, and there was a lot of everyone trying to play the way they wanted to play. And so, you know, if if Jeremy Lin can play the way Carmelo Anthony wants to play and everyone's sort of going towards the same goal, then that could work a lot better than, you know, five guys trying to run Mike D'Antoni's system, ten guys trying to run Carmelo Anthony's system, and, <laughs> and sort of everyone going in the same That sounds direction. like chaos. It does. It, it, was, does. it, it sound, The next season has basically been chaos, so you're not okay. far off. And we have to leave it there.